last month there was a local community group that held a seminar for folks who want to become a candidate in the upcoming elections. And this was a really nice thing for for this organization to put together. There was a former city councilman there and uh, attorney for the city and several other people who uh, uh, have been involved with um, local government. And they were giving you the ins and outs of what it takes to run a campaign, mm -hmm. things you should know. I, I, I found it quite interesting and it was a very well attended meeting and they asked for a show of hands for who uh, is thinking about running for office and I looked around the room and there were a whole bunch of different hands uh, was like at least a dozen or so people and I was looking around and I looked to my right and uh, my hand was in the air <laughs> so I do plan to run for the City Council now the world knows. Yes. <laughs> One of the things that I, I had in mind when I moved back here to Clearwater, and people say, why'd you move back to Clearwater, for heaven's sakes? You were out of here. Um, I wanted to see if I could make a difference mm -hmm. in Clearwater. And I had been spending so much time with a regular day job, just trying to survive that, you know, the thought of, and I was working evenings, so the thought of being on the city council really wasn't practical, but I knew as soon as I retired, I'd be free to do that. And I retired a few months ago. So uh, I'm, I'm planning to run. And That's I think great. it's going to be fascinating and, and, and intriguing. And, and I hope that uh, you'll uh, support us along the way, one way or the other. And I'll, I'll keep you up to date on everything. Of course, yeah. this is more of the exploratory uh, committee phase here. Because <laughs> there's nothing is being filed until the uh, September is when the the paperwork gets uh, issued and you have to go out and collect names and do all of that yeah. stuff. But it should be interesting. Uh, I'm looking forward to, to uh, throwing my hat in the ring. But when I was back in the mythical land of Oshkosh, Wisconsin, mm. in my youth, and by youth I mean this would probably have been when I was, I guess it would have been around 30. Okay. <laughs> when uh, 60 Minutes did the first piece on Scientology here in Clearwater. I saw that when it was aired live and I thought, my God, that's that's wacky. And then they aired another uh, story on, on Scientology two years later. But there was no there were no other sources back then for you to go to. Yep. So you couldn't go on the internet and Google Scientology. There weren't that many books in, in the library that you'd even think of searching for a, a, a book in the library on Scientology so it, it you know it caught my attention back in in 1980 but it wasn't until the late 90s that I uh, I got reconnected to it and started becoming more interested in in finding out more and then became pretty amazed by what I discovered and then started speaking out um, but the story of Clearwater has always been an important part of my journey mm -hmm. So I, reading about what they did to Gabe Casares, the, the mayor of Clearwater, when they came into town, all the covert actions they did against Clearwater, those were things that I, I, I just found utterly appalling. I and Mike Render and Leah Remini are going to do everything in our power to get Mark Bunker elected to city council. <laughs> It'll be fun, and I'm going to keep you up to date all along the way. Um, you know, I'll hopefully have cameras with me, follow me around, knocking on doors, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be signatures awesome. for everything, and uh, uh, you know, so it, it'll be an interesting journey. Yeah. So, I think what I would like to say to the people of Clearwater, and by the way, a lot of local people are going to see this video, right? Um, if you are tired of what Scientology has done to the downtown area, if you've seen the show and you thought what can I do like what can any of us do well there's two things one come downtown join us at restaurants like the one we're eating at now downtown pizza we're gonna keep doing these videos and two vote for Mark Bunker <laughs> you'll be glad you did <laughs>